welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you didn't read the title or you didn't look behind me we're going to talk about FNAF today yes very excited to see this movie um, for different reasons and just before I get into everything hopefully this won't be too long of like a, a spiel on the movie itself and what I thought but Overall, I did like it. Or just that's where this review is gonna go. I did like it, but there are some things as a horror movie fan, just of all different types of uh, grades of horror movies and everything like that. Um, I have some little tidbits that that bothered me about it, but overall, I think it was a good movie. Um, I would definitely watch it again. So if that doesn't give it at least a, I give it like a. 7.5 out of 10? I think so. I think so for sure. No no higher than 8 because there are tweaks that could have happened. Anyways, um, I listened to other people, um, a couple other people talk about the movie and I know for my review I will not be a person who has any problems or was watching the movie in the eyes of someone who's like a really hardcore gamer with FNAF. I never played it. I've always watch other people play it for years obviously and I think it's really cool that it went from a game to a movie like it's with Blumhouse like that's really that's a that's a good that's a good goal that um I bet who was it Scott didn't even think about happening ever and I uh, it's kind of interesting that they the world's just changing it's just, it's just interesting um overall I expected the expected the um the scares because i saw that it was rated what horror and suspense i think it is i thought that the scares were going to be less than what they were i was like okay well um so far i'm at is rated pg-13 and i was like okay but it's strictly horror and suspense but it's pg-13 so i'm like okay well i'm not gonna expect like you know the goriest of things um or the most traumatizing jump scares. They probably won't really show much of anything happening, but surprisingly they did um, show more than what I expected. Um, first of all, the main character, if you will, um, Josh, uh, I haven't seen him in years. It's kind of interesting that he's in this movie. Um, I'm in a good way, in a good way, but I literally, I always see him and I just he has the same face obviously it's his face but he has the same face as when he was younger and I always remember him from like Zathura which is a really old movie but um yeah it's kind of cool he actually for I haven't seen him in a long time in a new in like something new not that he probably isn't doing anything I just haven't seen him in a while so to see him actually as like a grown man was like wow he's he's aged and I've aged <laughs> But anyway, and he did very good. He did fantastic. Um, I, I don't know how, you know, people were talking about the script and stuff. And yes, the story kind of lost me here and there. But I will say that it kept me engaged. Like, I'm not saying that was the point of the script. But it did keep me engaged to the point where, like, I, I was commentating throughout the entire movie. More, more, most likely, uh, the entire movie. And, um... <laughs> I think that's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I mean, I don't I don't know if the storyline was just thrown in for the movie FNAF. Again, I don't know anything about the actual lore behind the FNAF games. I know of FNAF. I've seen it long enough. Um, all the different Five Nights at Freddy's, it's super cool where it's gone um, from where it started at. I will say the my first impression was I, I think I forgot what the original FNAF animatronics look like because when I saw them like you see Chica back there when I saw them I was like that's not very terrifying you know to me to me it's not but then I'm thinking about like how they look now and not so much the the, the like security breach they don't look terrifying in that either right but I'm always but I just when I was watching it I realized I was thinking about all like the FNAF spin-offs and how much more terrifying those animatronics look so that's what I was expecting I was literally expecting like it looking like it's old rusty it's got pieces missing like that's what I was expecting so when I saw like them like this 
looking like Chuck E. Cheese back in the good old days, like when it was actually like a thing and not just the leftover, you know, rat on the side. Uh, <laughs> I was like, well, that's not going to be scary. Okay, so I just automatically was like, okay, now I see what people were talking about, right? Because I thought the movie wasn't going to be as scary. Well, I take it back because they had some good moments. Um, spoiler, if you haven't seen it, I would be weird if you watched it before seeing the movie. But, um, like the scene where Bonnie killed that man in the closet, in like the utility closet, whatever it was. And in my head, because again, I'm like an avid horror movie person, I have to remember that the PG-13 isn't going to give me like rated R <laughs> kill scenes or anything so obviously you didn't really see anybody get killed you just heard it and then I was like when that scene was happening and I'm like my brain went so fast where it was like they're probably just gonna show his hand and if there's any, even any blood I was gonna be surprised there was a little bit you know a little bit of corn syrup with red food dye on the on the door but I wanted more blood like like for me I was like I want there to be like Whoosh, just like a, a wash of blood they didn't do that again it is pg-13 so uh that's just something that i wanted and then it took me out of the moment because i was like oh he must have like got stabbed and he like clutched it you know and then he was like oh i'm dying i don't i don't know it's fine it's fine um they had a moment where the little cupcake that chica holds was like going through the vents it was just one moment that that happened and then of obviously um josh went through the vents at one part as well very very quick parts of that um i'm gonna try not to talk about the game mechanics because again i'm not really like i never played fnaf but i do i do think maybe they should have had more of that because something going through the vents at super top speeds is terrifying because we can't nobody nobody can go through the vents that fast unless you're like a really small creature so that was that was really cool um i wish they did it maybe one more time than just the one time for a killing moment but it worked what they did worked there and um i don't know the 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 family situation fine it it was fine and everything there was i was definitely a little confused i think it lost i lost my interest i'm not gonna lie i lost my interest a little bit because i was like um I don't know. I don't know what it did to, to kind of take me out of it, but it was it maybe it took too long or maybe I was looking for something specific. But yeah, I lost my interest in it a little bit. And I was just like, I don't even care. <laughs> That's <laughs> He was looking for his brother and everything. And it's not his acting. It's, it's no one's acting, I want to say. I know some people were talking about the acting slash this more more or less again the script they were talking about it. And I'm yeah, some of the lines were like whatever but it wasn't that bad i think for sure this movie is higher than like a b-rated movie you know higher than the movies they made in the uh, 80s and behind that were just kind of like let's just throw some stuff together like what horror is right now is nothing compared to what people had to deal with you know if you're a true horror movie person you don't just watch the newest horror movie you also watch old ones so it's not bad at all but um and i'm going to call him i'm going to call him shaggy <laughs> because that's what i know him as um but shaggy popping in so his voice is completely different i did not catch his voice so that was very that was a surprise for me um when he was they had him on purpose looking away and looking down kind of and i was just like it, it didn't click to me at first but usually i'm pretty good at like seeing pieces of people like, you know celebrities faces people's faces and i'm like that's that's blah 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 and i didn't really catch it that well but when he was talking after even i saw his face i literally re i literally rewounded the movie and i was like that can't be him i'm like that, that that can't be him and it was it was so that was pretty cool to have him in there they had little little snippets of him from his glory killing days on top of him being the killer in this this movie um he didn't do a bad job obviously uh what he from what he was given he did fantastic i i want he, he could have had more intricate lines and stuff you know he's a really good actor same thing with josh but he hit the um, josh hit his emotional range pretty good and uh shaggy 
he, he could have gotten more out of it but from what he did get he did fantastic and I'm, I'm glad that he was in the movie i am about vanessa like the cop she was weird she was straight up weird i was like this girl is gonna she's either not gonna be in a sequel at all because she was just in here for vanessa the fun right she's gonna be i'm i can definitely see her skipping around in a freaking bunny costume being crazy there's nothing wrong with her obviously because who her who her dad was right but just the, that family dynamic is, is trash. I can see her as Vanny, for sure. I can see her as Vanny. And since they're in the making of kind of like talking about making another FNAF movie, put her in there. I mean, she can be Vanny. She's she's obviously a little loose in the head because she was a little too happy sometimes being in there looking at stuff, being nostalgic. And then all of a sudden she wanted to cry because she's like, I'm so terrified of this place. I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure, Vanessa? Because earlier in the movie you were just like oh, hi freddy hi everybody this is so nice oh look at this this is beautiful and i'm just like she's weird she was supposed to be but yeah hold on before i get to the next part there's one reason i literally knew about this movie and decided to watch this movie yes so I just had to. Like, I had to put on my Corey Kenshin shirt because the only reason, I'm not gonna lie, the only reason I watched this movie is because Corey had a cameo in it. And I'm so proud of him. I don't know him. <laughs> but I'm so proud of him. He did so good. He did so good. Um, I know people were talking about, like, like, how... <laughs> How did they teleport to their house, to Josh and Abby's house, right? But then they're like, how are we going to get back? And then they took a cab. Um, they took a cab because it was like a comedic relief moment. Because the way people were talking about it, they were like, that makes no sense. And no, it doesn't. Because they, it's like, you can teleport there, but then now that you have the little girl, you can't teleport? That's so weird. But it is. But at the same time... I'm so glad they put that little comedic relief moment in there because their aunt just got killed. Like, she's dead on the floor. And the whole time I'm looking like, are we gonna... Like, first of all, are we gonna see the aunt get killed? No, of course not, PG-13. And then secondly, I was like, is that little girl gonna do something? Because she's like, they're like, oh, she's asleep. Aunt, aunt whatever her face is, went to sleep. Oh yeah, she went to sleep. Anyways, uh, like I said, very proud of Corey. He did a great job. It was so cool to see him. I'm not going to lie. It was so cool to see him. You can definitely hear for his two scenes that they put into the movie. I don't know how many he, he did for like takes or anything. But for the two scenes they put in the movie, um, I could definitely hear the, a little bit of nervousness and uncomfortable, but it wasn't like crazy. It wasn't. It wasn't anything crazy. I think he did great, and I'm proud. So that was... That was pretty cool um, to see him in there. And I just had to wear my, my Corey Kenshin shirt while I spoke about it because I just had to. I just had to. And you know what? I'm going to wear it for the rest of the freaking video because it's really comfortable. <laughs> it's really comfortable. After that, and I think the overall, the reason like um, of the kids being in the, in the, the machines, the animatronics, I'd... Uh, I don't think I have anything against it being more supernatural because that answers the question of like them teleporting places and stuff. First of all, they kept forgetting about Foxy and Foxy was the one who was going around tearing everybody's butt up. He was just like, hey, 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 scratch, scratch, sling, drag you here. He was terrible. He was the worst. And they just kept forgetting about him because he was behind the curtain like, you don't see me. Like, bro, we see you. But he looked the coolest. That's what I expected them all to look like, like kind of hairy with like you could see the mechanics and he had like one eyeball that was good and the other one, I guess because he was piratey or whatever, but Foxy's amazing. He actually was the worst probably of them all. I mean, Chica only snaps if you steal her snacks, so that's, that's typical, right? And Freddy looked too put together for my liking um, and I mean, I guess Bonnie... They always, I don't know, in FNAF, like, people pick and choose whether or not Bonnie's, like, 
gonna be in it or not so i didn't really you know bonnie whatever um even freddie and bonnie's outfits were less scary than the the shaggy's bunny animatronic outfit i do think it's pretty cool how they had him kind of mm, he didn't die i guess he didn't die because i mean i i do think the 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 line where he was like i always come back and then he put the helmet back on that was weird right that was weird it can't just be me and i i listened to jack septic guy i don't know why i can't i can't say his name i listened to him on um on brain leak when him and ethan were talking about it after i watched it because i want to know i i'm not gonna lie i'm a um I like when Jack makes the videos where he's talking about like if he likes a show or not or like a movie. It depends on what it is, but I also listened to him when he talked about like the Last of Us TV show and I agreed with everything he said. But when he was talking about like no one knows when he's like, I always come back. Nobody knows that yet. And I was like, okay, so yeah, because <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> that was a really weird moment. Um, I get why they put it in there now that he explained it. Like I get why they put it in there. But it was unnecessary or they could have did it differently they could do it differently don't get ideas from me that seems more like a video game mechanic add-on talk <laughs> so don't don't come talk to me about that they did get me with i didn't okay so i knew it was him for some reason i was like you are i was like vanessa i was like oh vanessa your dad is the guy who gave josh his job right i was like oh, okay that makes sense so he's going to be the one that's like coming up in here when she's all terrified of my dad and I was like oh it's the guy who gave Josh his job and but the part that got me that I did not put together was oh no I'm gonna forget I can't possibly forget I don't know now it'll come back to me but um no I'm sad there was a part that had to do with him as the killer that did surprise me because I didn't put those two pieces together. And I was like, whoa. But the fact that he's just a factor of children, like he was in the woods and he was taking kids. But like, wasn't, uh, was that always a thing for FNAF? I thought they were just hunting at the, the, the place. And was one of the animatronics in there Josh's brother or not? I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm like, I'm like, you were... I'm, I'm, I need a little bit more information. I was thinking too hard about the killer and his motives, which we got no answers um, with in regards to that, at least personally to me. We got no answers. And I will say he stabbed his daughter, but he didn't stab her in the stomach. He stabbed her in the womb. And I was like, you are, are a tyrant. You're terrible. She's not going to die from that. And she was running out of the place, by the way, which I don't think would be possible by herself to run out of there on her own with that type of wound from that size knife but um i like how she thought because she shot him he wasn't gonna stab her like i think it's just free game at that point he's like honey you're not gonna shoot me and then she shot him and then he was like oh, i can't believe you shot me like his face real quick for a second and then she got stabbed and i was like you two have problems <laughs> but it was cool for the movie I think there was a cameo of somebody else, but I'm not going to lie. I don't know who they were, guys. So, my fault <laughs> there. But, um, again, overall, the movie was good. I think it was good. It wasn't great, but it was good. I will watch it again. And I think that says enough about it. Like, if I will watch it again, I think it says enough about it that it was, it was a good movie. Um, they did a good job. They could do better. And I heard there was some kind of for lack of a term like bridezilla things going on with um with scott uh with everyone else so you know if they are in the making of of brainstorming and putting together a second fnaf then i i really hope that constructive criticism and stuff gets put in because this movie could have been great it could have been fantastic you know it could have been the next real scary thing because the game scares a lot of people right it's jump scary and everything but if you're gonna leave it as pg-13 to get as much audience as possible or whatever the reason is then take in some constructive criticism especially if you're like you make games it's different than making like horror games different than horror movies 
Like you're gonna have the same fans. We love them all, right? Um, but we're expecting different things. And if you're not gonna go tit for tat, from the game same thing with the last of us right if you're not gonna go tit for tat from the game then you're <laughs> we're gonna have problems <laughs> we're gonna have problems so we want to see them using the security system um we want to see them doing those little things shutting doors like we want to see those things but i'm not gonna get too far into that i'm done talking about it the movie was great. I'm so happy I watched it. I can't wait to watch it again. And uh, if you guys haven't watched it yet, then I hope you didn't listen to this first. <laughs> or maybe you're like, I'm not going to watch it, but I'm going to listen to people talk about it. That's fine. Thank you so much for watching my video if you made it through the whole thing. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you did watch the movie and if you liked it or not. You can even put why on either side. It doesn't matter. Just yes or no. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.